Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightSail VR. Uh, I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to do green screen set extension with LiveFX and Unreal Engine using a package project, exe file, and using basic tracking. This is kind of a quick and dirty tutorial, but I, I want to get it out there sooner than later. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first show you uh, my setup here. So I'll be your screen recording from this machine. And this is also going to this monitor over here. So that sort of shows the comp, which I'll be screen recording as well. I have a green screen studio here, the world's most expensive mannequin here, wearing the Apple Vision Pro. And one of the things that you're going to notice is the set extensions here. In fact, I'll just go ahead and show you that now. So obviously, as I move around here, there's there's no green happening over here, um, but in the comp, that is all taken out. And I'm able to do that with set extensions because we have camera tracking applied. And uh, I'll show you a little bit about that here in a minute. If I zoom out, we might be able to see both of these in the same frame, sort of. So you can see now we should be totally off green, um, but the comp still works just fine. Green screen workflows, obviously you can use um, take recorder so you can get a much higher quality. For camera tracking, we are using the Retracker Bliss. I just got this a few days ago and I really like it. So far, I'm very, very impressed. There's a single USB-C cable that goes to the computer. I do the nodal offset and the world position through live effects, although you can do it through the Bliss software. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so this is the general setup. I'm going to show you sort of the, the comp here. So I have the background, I have the foreground here, uh, which is just green, obviously. I have the background, which is an Unreal Engine scene uh, that we put together. I have my tracking coming in. And one of the things I have set up is the set extensions and basically if I drag this you can see the set extension here so I'm going to drag it just so we can see some of the curtain I'm gonna go physically move the camera and you'll see kinda of what it does so you can see that it tracks the position of this mat, and that is what allows us to do these set extensions. So let's go ahead and set this up from scratch. I'm going to make a new timeline. We'll just call this Unreal Green Screen Tutorial. And I'm going to go to Live Setup. I'm going to do Green Screen with Unreal Background. I will use my DeckLink Pro for the foreground camera. For the Unreal Capture, I'll select Unreal Texture Share. And for the camera tracker, I'm going to select my 3D tracker. You obviously have to have already set up your video I.O. I can do that in a different video if you need it. And you have to set up your camera tracker. Um, in our case, it's already set up. So if I press Create, it's going to automatically set this up for us. The other thing I have here is the Unreal Engine scene. I don't have Unreal Engine opened. I have a scene that we've built to a, a an EXE, so a packaged file, runs like a game. And if I double click on this, it's going to open Unreal Engine, the, the Unreal Engine project in the background here. I do have an example project you can follow along with. Just go to the link in the description to download it. This one we customized for Zeiss and um, yeah, so the first thing I want to do is fix this key. And to do that, I'm going to go over here to the left bar. And you see we have keyer, and we have background. These are two different layers. So first I'm going to select the keyer. Blue means something has been changed. So I can see that the camera has been changed, the qualifier has been changed, fill mat has been changed. So if I click on qualifier, I'm going to change this to HSV. And you select this pick option, and I'm going to pick the color it picks the color of the keyer here. You can also hold down control and select to, to grab more than one color or more than that color, that range. 
and I can go into matte and I can refine this key by dragging these sliders as such. So hue, saturation, value. So I could do a little bit better job of lighting the screen screen. Uh, I could really, the thing I need to do is move the talent further away from the green. But for today's tutorial, this is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and go out of matte. Now, the other thing you'll notice is that we have a lot of green spill. To do the despill, there's different ways. The best way is to go to curves, hue saturation, bring down the greens, and yeah, something like that. Voila, green is gone. So now that we have our key fixed, let's go into our live effects menu here. And we'll talk a little bit about the camera tracking real quick. So here we have the 3D tracker. I'm using the Retracker Bliss. And you can see it has this mount offset. So this is a nodal offset. Now, how do we get that? You can do it many different ways. If you're, A lot of tracking systems have their own nodal offset. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it from Live Effects. And I'm also going to show you how to set your ground point in Live Effects. And these are very important for the set extensions to work. So let's first go to Camera Calibrate here. And if you go to Setup here, you can read here about the information. So we have Chiruko board, Aruko size. And there's a whole video on this. You should definitely go watch it if you have not seen it before. But the important thing is I have a Aruko marker. And I need to make sure I set the right size. So I've actually written it physically on my Aruka marker. In fact, I'll show you real quick. So 196.85 millimeters. I'm going to place this Aruka marker at where I want my scene origin. And I can use that to get the nodal offset and the position. So let's go ahead and jump to the nodal point. Right now, I have my nodal offset. You can see this mount offset. This is all here. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. My press step, it cleared these out. And you can see the instructions here. So I'm going to point the camera right at the center and press step. Image top left, image bottom left, and then bottom right. OK. And then I'm going to apply that. I'm going to go to position. Now with my live links open here, I can also do this overlay. So I can see where the camera is. And you can see right now, camera is looks strange. So um, let's go ahead and do the scan position. Basically, we're going to point the camera back at the middle. And then I'm going to open the overlay again. And watch when I do scan position. I'm going ahead and press scan position. And now that has made the scene origin point right there. Set origin would actually take the tracker's position and make that the origin. So if you want to use this option, then you need to put your tracker on the floor where your origin is and then press this one. Now we can also do virtual ground. I'll put this here just so you can see. Now we have this virtual ground here. This is good for determining how accurate your nodal offset is and your tracking is. For now, this is going to be OK. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And we'll continue with the tutorial. OK, with our keyer layer selected, um, let's go down to the Canvas menu and see where it says Relative. I'm going to uncheck Relative. But when I do it, it looks like it just disappears. So I'm going to show you a few things. So if I hold down spacebar and use the zoom wheel, I can zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out. And if I uncheck relative, you can see that there's actually something way down here. Um, and basically, this is taking the tracking information and it's applying it to the layer. And it's using it in the 3D space. So what I can do now is I can bring this up into our scene. And you get a sense of what this is going to do already. There's other, You can also you know, just scale it up here. So you can see it. Let's say let's say it's really far off. You could always just scale it up until you see it, and then you can drag that over. 
and you can scale this down as needed here. But basically what you want to do is drag these boundaries around your talent. And this is going to be the set extension. And then what you want to do is move your camera around the scene and make sure that you don't cut off any point and that you include everything all the way around. So I'm going to do that now. So you can see if I pan all the way one way, I might need to extend this a little bit. Let's pan the other way. Same on this side. So I've tilted all the way down and I'm going to extend the layer here. All right, and that looks pretty good to me. So another thing I want to do real quick is I want to add a blur to the background. So everything's just a little too sharp. So I'm going to go to background, numeric, and add some defocus. I might also actually add some noise. So we zoom in. This will sort of match the video noise a little bit. So that might that's also something I might try to do. So I'm just going to keep that in for now. So now we have our set extension set up and we have our green screen keying, we have our tracking, everything's applied, and we should be good to go. I can change the focal length here. So if I want to change the focal length of my camera, obviously it should match my actual camera. That would be ideal. But this is where you change it here in the camera menu. You can change the pan and the offset here in the position, but you can see because we're doing the set extensions, you actually can't move the position here. If you want to change the position of the Unreal Engine scene, you have to do that either in your Unreal Engine project or if it's packaged, then you need to do it through Web Remote. So for instance, I can change my position here by moving the camera here. So if I want to change the position, I would need to do that from Unreal Engine because otherwise it's going to mess up my um, my set extensions. Okay, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.